Hi everyone, today's video is a little luxury designer haul. I purchased a few more summer goodies, so I thought I'll share them with you guys. Okay, so let's start. And let's start with some Louis Vuitton. This is something you may have noticed in my shopping vlog. As a matter of fact, I tried them on and it's a pair of shoes. This summer, I have gone crazy with the sandals. Normally, I would buy maybe like two pairs of sandals per season, but this year I have gone crazy, like I have lost it. I blame it on the dad sandals though, because if it wasn't for that trend, the amount of sandals that I have purchased would have reduced by half. But this is not a pair of dad sandals, so let me show you what I got. So here we have two dust bags. Okay, and now for the reveal, it is the Louis Vuitton Revival Flat mule i absolutely love it i think that the embossed uh, louis vuitton monogram on this like puffy leather is absolutely genius it's the exact thing that i wanted because i wanted something quite plain that would go with most of my outfits and would be very very easy to style but at the same time you don't want to spend a lot of money for something that is absolutely basic and doesn't have any uniqueness to it they're very feminine the puffy leather is so comfortable as regards to size i went a whole size up and it's not that size 40 didn't fit me it actually fit me very well but the problem was that the heel well more like the curve that is on top of the heel was going a little bit over the shoe and it's just my personal preference that i don't like that unfortunately they did not have half sizes available so my only choice was to try a full size up and to my surprise it fit very well this is a pair of shoes that you should definitely try on at the store if possible because i don't think that the sizing is usual i think that you may have to go half a size up but it really depends on how wide or narrow your foot is moving on to something from fendi as you can see from the packaging it is swimwear and there was another thing that I was struggling with, that I was struggling to find, and it was a plain black swimsuit, but one that is not too plain. Basically the same idea as with the Louis Vuitton Revival Mules, and I actually bought these two items, like maybe a month apart, so I didn't realize that I bought a very similar idea from both designers. So let me show you, it is the Fendi, bikini with kind of Fendi Zucca print embossed on the bikini and it's so funny because the idea of this is nearly identical to the Louis Vuitton Revival Mules. Of course this is not leather but the black on black monogram is pretty much the same idea as the Louis Vuitton embossed black on black monogram so <laughs> i guess i have a thing for monochrome monogram items as regards to sizing i am a medium between large and i got italian size 44 fits me perfectly unfortunately i'm very self-conscious so i'm not going to put it on for you guys but i'll insert some mud shots so you can see a little bit better how it looks in the daylight what i love about this is that all the straps are adjustable you can adjust the top part of the bikini the side part of the bikini and also the bottom part of the bikini so if you lose some weight you'll still fit in it and if you gain some weight you will also still fit in it i actually got this one on sale from matches fashion so if you're interested in to getting a fendi bikini keep an eye on the luxury designer resellers because the fendi bikinis and swimwear all of it it does go on sale and is usually not excluded from the discount codes. Do not pay full price for this. And now moving on to the final item, it's something from Hermes. It's something a little bit more exciting than the Oran sandals, but less exciting than the Birkin. So, as I said, I have been obsessed with bad sandals. And just when I was about to stop, I saw these available on the website. The female version of this shoe is not available online. However, the men's version of this shoe is in fact available online. So if you have a shoe size 39 and up, 
you can get away with this shoe from the men's section. Okay, and now let me show it to you because I'm just so excited. I am such a sucker for comfort. So here they are, the Hermes Cipri Cyper. I, I don't know how to pronounce this, but basically the slide version of the Hermes Dad Sandals. And I just love them. So as I said, I am normally a size 40. At first I ordered these in a size 41 and similarly to the Louis Vuitton Revival Mules, my heel was just like a little bit over the shoe, like the curve of my heel was a little bit over the shoe. So I decided to go a whole size up from the size that I had already ordered. So at the end I went with size 40. Two. Yes, I am normally a size 40 and this shoe is a 42 and this to me personally fit the most comfortably. So this is another pair of shoes that you definitely have to try on because the sizing is very, very weird. I had never in my life bought a shoe for myself that is size 42. Nevertheless, size is just a number and look at this stunning beige. For some reason, it actually looks a little bit green on the camera, but I will insert some footage with daylight because it's actually a very beautiful beige suede and look how it looks against black. Beige and black is one of my absolute favorite color combinations. So scoring these is such a huge win for me. I am obsessed with dad sandals. I love comfort. I have been wearing my Chanel and Dior dad sandals all the time to the point that I'm actually worried that I'm going to wear them out too quickly. So another pair of dad sandals was in a way essential in my wardrobe. You know, it's just an excuse that I tell myself to justify this purchase because I did not really need them, but I do love them. The shoe itself is very minimalistic. You have the Hermes logo on the inside of the shoe. Then there's the H, the Velcro strap. And on the sole, it says Hermes. And there are like these little teeny tiny H's, just kind of, in the rubber sole. Very simple, very dad shoe. Like this is really, really a dad, dad shoe. The Chanel and Dior ones, they still had some feminine element, but I feel like with these shoes, it's really like stealing your brother's, boyfriend's, husband's slides, you know? And I'm absolutely here for it. The quality is impeccable. I do want to say that if you have a very narrow foot. I wouldn't recommend buying these from the men's section because men's foot in general is a bit wider. So I think that even the Velcro strap wouldn't be able to stop your foot from sliding inside the shoe. For me, I have tightened it quite a bit and my foot stays in place, but if I did have a narrow foot, it would get hard to walk. Okay guys, so that's it for my video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do love talking about fashion. So let's stay in touch and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, stay safe!